This presentation was given by one of my former partners, Dr. Kyle Mock, last year, so I've borrowed some of his slides. So small bowel obstruction accounts for 300,000 admissions in the U.S. annually, the most common etiology being post-operative adhesions. And for these, the standard of care is non-operative management. But what about the virgin abdomen? So virgin abdomen refers to a patient without history of abdominopelvic surgery. This term predates the widespread use of CT imaging, and I say this because CT has increased the diagnosis of small bowel obstructions and could potentially diagnose the etiology of them. Bowel obstruction in the virgin abdomen was previously believed to be at higher risk of being malignant in etiology, and some studies cite as high as 50%. So, do bowel obstructions in virgin abdomens have to be explored? This was the previous dogma. But this is important to address because when you look at the current management of adhesive small bowel obstructions, non-operative management is much less orbit, morbid than operative management. And so modern studies have been looking at this, um, small bowel obstructions in the virgin abdomen, and they've been challenging the previous principles. So there's three systematic reviews meta-analyses of six studies that were done from 2014 to 2019. These included 414 patients, half of which were managed non-operatively and half which were managed with surgery. So non-operative management was successful in these studies. 96% success rate, and the relative risk of success in another analysis was 0.89. So you can non-operatively manage them but what causes these obstructions? So actually, 63% of them were caused by adhesions, and only 11% were caused by malignancy, which is very different from the previously thought 50%. When you look at the prevalence of malignancy, you can actually see that it's very heterogeneous. So the prevalence ranges from 0.03 to 0.19, which is a huge range. So this is to say that the results of these studies have to be interpreted with caution. We use a lot of gastrographin in USC. So gastrographin is a hyperosmolar agent that presumably pulls water from the small bowel and increases, decreases edema, increases motility. So two studies evaluated the role of gastrographin in small bowel obstructions in the virgin abdomen. There was a 95% rate of successful resolution. 2.6%, um, there was only um, a 2.6 operative rate in the gastrographin cohort in one of the studies. And surgery was 85% less likely in patients that received gastrographin in the other study. What about using CTs to diagnose the etiology? So two studies actually looked at this, and congruency of CT and operative findings were only found in 66% of cases. So that doesn't sound good, but when you actually look at the incongruencies, CT was overdiagnosing things such as volvulus, internal hernia, and there were no misdiagnoses, so things like malignancy, gallstone ileus, and Meckel's diverticulum were not missed on CT, at least in these two studies. What happens to these patients when they leave the, the hospital? So four studies reported follow-up, but only 17% of patients had follow-up, and one malignancy in the transverse colon was found on follow-up colonoscopy, and one NSAID-induced stricture was found on capsule endoscopy. So this raises the question of what kind of follow-up do these patients need when you've non-operatively managed them? 7% of those non-operatively managed bowel obstructions um, were found to have recurrence. But these were managed non-operatively again, and only one required laparotomy. When you look at the morbidity of operative management, there's a 26% morbidity of operative management versus 3.1% non-operative. So that's a significant difference. And operative management resulted in 11.4 negative laparotomy rates. 
The problem with these studies is that, hetero that they're heterogeneous and there's not too many of them and there's very little follow-up. And so the takeaways are de novo adhesions are the most common causes of small bowel obstruction in the virgin abdomen, not malignancy, and non-operative management is reasonable in select populations. But because these studies must be interpreted with caution, you should have a low threshold for taking a look. And nowadays, we do that with diagnostic laparoscopy. But overall, further studies are needed. Thank you.